Hey everybody, my name is Amanda, also known as Keto Ginja. So today's video is super special because it is an amazing collab with some of my absolute favorite people in the keto space. I really scored with some of the friends that I've made on this journey and they all inspire me on a daily basis in countless ways. So we are calling this the Magic Hat Collab. Magic Hat Collab is super simple. We took 10 cuisines, wrote them all down on little slips of paper, and you basically have to pull out a cuisine style and make a keto-friendly dish based on the cuisine style that you chose. There's everything from Italian to French, German, a little bit of everything in there. I think it's gonna be really fun. The participants in the collab will all be linked down below, so I really hope that you go and see their entry in the collab. Subscribe to their channel, comment, tell them I said hi. We have six participants total, including myself, and that's Nicole Burgess, Watch Autumn Keto, Jordan So Keto, Logan Sneed, Goody Beats, and me. I'm excited, are you guys excited? I hope I get something that I have an idea for already. It's time to pick. I went with Dan's Mr. Steak hat as my magic hat <laughs> because I don't have a top hat, who to thunk it? I'm nervous. All right, we ready? Okay. Yes! I got Cuban. I'm stoked. I don't know what I'm making, but I'm excited. I am living for the fact that I got Cuban because I've actually been craving a Cuban sandwich. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to make a keto style Cuban sandwich with black beans and rice on the side. My Cuban sandwich is basically going to be made out of fathead dough and I'm gonna put all the components for a Cuban sandwich inside. It'll basically look like a giant hand pie and you can cut it into slices. I am foaming at the mouth just thinking about it. Let me show you everything that you're gonna need and we'll get rolling on today's amazing Magic Hat collab. All right, first things first, the components for the fathead dough. Almond flour, mozzarella, cream cheese, an egg, a splash of white vinegar, and then I'm also going to add a little bit of onion powder and garlic powder to this fathead dough. For the Cuban sandwich insides, I've got some pork here. I'm just using these really thin boneless pork chops that I have so I don't have to cook a whole tenderloin. Then I have some smoked uncured ham, some pickles, and some yellow mustard because it's not a Cuban sandwich without pickles and yellow mustard. I also have some Swiss cheese. So that's the inside. Now let's talk about the faux black beans. Okay, I wanna start by saying that if you follow a super strict ketogenic diet, this part of it may be off limits to you or something that you would really wanna use in moderation. This company, Eden Organic, does a black bean that's made out of soy. The net carbs are amazing. It's only one net carb per half a cup. I haven't tried these yet, but I can't wait to doctor them up because I miss black beans and rice terribly. I grew up in South Florida, so this was a staple in my diet. So that'll be the beans. To those beans, a little bit of onion, a little bit of mojo, some adobo, and some salt and pepper. And then for the rice, I'm going to use this amazing miracle rice. This is a shiitake rice, very similar to the shiitake noodles that you've seen. This miracle rice is the closest rice tasting thing I've had since I started keto. So I'm pretty excited about this side dish for our Cuban sandwich. Okay, the very first step to get this party started is to cook your pork. Now, if you did a tenderloin, it's gonna take a while to cook. That's why I chose these little thin pork chops. So I am going to take a little bit of olive oil and grease the tin foil on my pan. I preheated the oven to 350 degrees. Then lay out all of your pork chops. Then I'm gonna add another light drizzle of avocado oil to the tops. Next, I'm going to use some adobo seasoning and I am going to sprinkle it all over the pork. Adobo is really salty, so don't overdo it. 
You just want enough to give each piece a light dusting and then flip it over and do the same to the other side. Okay, now I'm also going to add some fresh pepper to the top. A lot of adobo already has pepper in it, so if it does, you don't need the extra pepper. But this one that I have doesn't have pepper in it. Just to the top, so I'm not going to flip them back over. Okay, so now these are going to bake in a 350 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes, just until they are done. While the pork is in the oven, I'm going to go ahead and get started on my fathead dough. I'm not going to show you guys step by step how to make fathead dough because I've done that a thousand times on this channel, but I will leave the link to the recipe that I use down below. The one that's been the most reliable for us is from the diet doctor. So first things first, my cheeses are going to get melted in the microwave and then we'll get rolling on the dough. <laughs> rolling. See what I did there? All right. My cheeses are all melted. Now I add the rest of the ingredients for the fathead dough, which is almond flour, an egg, and a teaspoon of white vinegar. I'm also adding a little sprinkle of garlic powder, a little sprinkle of onion powder, and now I'll mix it until it's a dough. Once you've got it formed into a dough, go ahead and stick it in the refrigerator for a few minutes so it can firm up a little bit. It's a lot easier to work with when you do that. The pork is all done. I'm just gonna set this off to the side and let it start to cool and I'm gonna get started on the beans. For the black beans, I'm gonna start with a little splash of avocado oil. And then I'm gonna add the onion. I've got about a third of a cup of yellow onion here. We're just gonna saute this in the avocado oil until it starts to get a little bit of color on it. And then we'll add the beans. My onions have a little bit of color on them. Now I'm gonna go in with about a quarter teaspoon of minced garlic. It smells amazing. And now I am going to add the can of the black soybeans. I drained them just a little bit. Oh. Once everybody's in the pool here, I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple tablespoons of this mojo marinade. This is very vinegary, but in a wonderful way. I always used it in my black bean recipe pre-keto, so I'm excited. It's very low carb. So now I'm gonna mix this all together and this will hang out on low for probably about 20 minutes. Now it's time to get the fat head dough into the shape that we want to be able to fill it. So I took this out of the fridge and I'm going to use my hands just to press it out a little bit. Once I've got it pressed out just a little, I'm going to take a little bit of avocado oil and lightly coat the top. Then, I'm going to lay a second piece of parchment paper right over the top and use a rolling pin to roll it out into a slightly thinner strip. Oh, uh-oh. We're just gonna pretend that I didn't just spill half a bottle of avocado oil all over my kitchen countertop. Okay, because I'm a professional. So I've got it rolled out. And now it's a nice big sheet. All right, going in for the build. So first, I'm going to put just a really light drizzle of yellow mustard. I'm also going to serve this with yellow mustard on the side. Next, we will put some Swiss cheese. Yes, I realize this is cheese on cheese on cheese, but I am living for it. Next, the pork. Then the dill pickles. You could omit it if you wanted to, but it's just not 
a Cuban sandwich without dill pickle. Now, a little bit more cheese. Please keep in mind, this is gonna be multiple portions. Yes, it's high fat, but that's how we're living our life. Then, come in with the ham and load it up. This thing is a work of art before it's even been put into the oven. Now we're gonna to attempt to wrap it up. Parchment paper is your absolute best friend when it comes to making fathead dough. It really, really helps and makes it a lot easier to work with. So first, I'm going to just kind of give a little edge here so it's not too open on the outsides. Then I'm going to use my parchment paper as a tool to fold this over the top of the stuffing. Now we'll do the other side. Be careful or it'll rip. Fathead dough is very sticky, so it sticks to itself with ease. The caveat to that is that it also sticks to your fingers, so look alive. <laughs> I'm going to just really lightly try and secure this back side. It's not going to be completely closed because this thing is stuffed to the gills, but I just want to kind of secure it a little bit so all of the cheese doesn't melt out. And I'm just using the parchment paper to make the fathead dough stick to itself. Final step, just taking a tiny bit of avocado oil and brushing it on the top. This is gonna go into a 400 degree oven until it is browned. That should take anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes, but I'm gonna keep my eye on it. Okay, we're on to the last step of our Cuban feast, and that is the miracle rice. This is so easy. Basically, you drain the water out of the package, you rinse the rice for dear life. I rinse it for a solid minute, then you just throw it in a saucepan and you cook it until it is heated evenly and all the moisture has dissipated. It's really that easy. We're so close. Okay, miracle rice is done. Beans are done. Oh, it came out freaking beautiful. Nothing's leaking out of it either. It's just a big old Cuban sandwich. Okay, you guys, I let this sit for a good 15 minutes because I didn't want all of the cheese to come gushing out of it. But here is the true test. Should have used a serrated knife. Did we make magic? We sure did. That's a freaking Cuban sandwich log. I'm definitely gonna get some rice and beans on a plate here and we are gonna eat because I am dying to try this. And I'll show you guys our plates, but I want to try the Cuban sandwich for you. Yeah, I want a Cuban. It came out really good. Like, it's beautiful. Here, you can have this one. Yay. Mmm. 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 Oh my god. Mmm. So, little fact, Dan's favorite sandwich, it's a Cuban sandwich. It's also my favorite. I grew up in South Florida, just north of Miami. This has been something that I have eaten my whole life that I have missed terribly on the keto diet. This is freaking delicious, you guys. That's amazing. Uh, it is the epitome of Cuban sandwich. It almost doesn't even taste like fathead dough. Uh-uh. Something... Wow. With the meat and everything mm -hmm. in it. This. That's a win. Let's try the rice and beans, and then I'm gonna go sit my butt down and mouth through a nice big piece of this. Okay, everybody. 
Got a couple slices of my Cuban sandwich here and a nice big pile of the black soybeans on Miracle Rice. Okay, we've never had the beans before. We tried the Miracle Rice at KetoCon and we really liked it. So I just made these the same way that I make my black beans that I've always made. Might be hot. Oh. Are they good? Mm-hmm. It tastes like black beans and rice. That's amazing. Yo. I could cry. Yo. Keto's easy. All these companies have just made it so that the foods that you're truly missing, you're able to knock it out of the park. Highly encourage you guys to get creative. Watch everyone else's collabs. Look at Instagram, look at YouTube. These meals are out there. It doesn't have to be boring. It's not all eggs and bacon. It's not all steak and broccoli. Get creative. If you don't know how to cook, you need to learn. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed today's collab. I had such an awesome time making it and I'm really stoked that I ended up getting the Cuban. I was worried. I was pulling for like Mexican or Spanish, but this actually ended up amazing. And I'm willing to bet that this is gonna be in our regular rotation because this is a meal that I thought I would never have again. Did I mention I like Cubans? <laughs> Have the best night ever. Please make sure that you go and watch all of the other participants to the collab. Subscribe to their channel. Tell them we said hey, and we will see you super soon.